In this video, I'm gonna show you a simple yet really effective way to sharpen your blurry images. Whether it's an image where you kind of missed focus completely or an image where the focus is just on the wrong spot. Now, just be aware that if your image is too blurry, if it's too out of focus, we just can't fix that. That image is toast. All right, so the image that I'm gonna use is this one right here, because even this one that I showed at the start, this is too blurry to even fix properly. So I'm gonna use this one where it's just, there's some parts that are just slightly out of focus. So the first thing we're gonna do is go over to our image layer, click on it, and then go Control J to make a copy. And then we're gonna right click and convert it to a smart object. So then we can go up here to the top, go to filter, down to other and select high pass. Now it's gonna put this kind of gray looking thing on it. We don't wanna to go too crazy over to the side here where your image is looking normal. You actually are trying to find a sweet spot where you can see kind of the, the details that you think you want to sharpen kind of showing up. So because this is kind of toys, I'm gonna to go a little bit higher. You know, usually you're safe between like three and five, something like that, but I'm gonna enhance these a little bit more because it's just toys, but yours should probably look more like this, okay? Like a little bit more faded and just the details showing up. If it's, you know, a regular human being face. But I'm gonna go with this right here and click OK. So nothing's gonna happen because now we need to go over here and if you did it as a smart filter like this, then you're gonna go to high pass here over to the right, double click, and this menu here is where we're gonna adjust our blend mode, not over here for this one. So in blend mode, we're just gonna click this to drop it down and you're gonna pick one of these. So either overlay, soft light, hard light, or vivid light. I'm gonna pick overlay for now and then you'll see your result. So that looks pretty good. If you change it, so vivid light, you know, in this case, maybe mine looks better as vivid light because these toys you know, it makes it pop a little bit more, so I'll keep it at that, but pick the one that makes sense for you and click OK, which obviously applies the sharpening from high pass filter to the entire image. So if I go over here and click this eyeball, you can see that's what we started with and that's what we have now. So for me, I only want it applied to these guys and the game. I don't want high pass filter applied up here to my, like the wall and the ceiling, the background over here, even though it looks okay, I just don't want it there nor do I want it applied to the table down here. So in order to apply it to just a specific part of your image, all we have to do is go over here. You can use this mask if you want. I'm gonna just add a new one. So I'm gonna click up here and then go down to this rectangle with the circle in it. Click on that, which puts a mask on it. And then I'm gonna go Control or Command I to invert it. And you'll notice that now we have our original image back because what happened is when you put black on it, it means it's basically see-through and we're seeing through to this background layer, which is our original image, including the blur. So what we're gonna do on this layer is go to a brush and then make sure that white is in the foreground. I'm gonna put my opacity at around 50%. If you wanna gradually bring back the sharpness, then just lower opacity and maybe lower flow down as well. I'm gonna keep my flow up fairly high and my opacity at 50, you know what? I'm even gonna boost this to you know, 75 to make this go a little quicker because I know I want most of the sharpness, if not all of it back for everything here. And then I'm just gonna make sure my brush is a little bit bigger so I can do this quicker. So if you have, you know, like little zones like this, I'm not gonna shrink my brush down. I'm just gonna go fast in here, but I would shrink it down and get into these like nooks and crannies in here and just keep your hardness down. Now, if I zoom in a bit here, I want you to pay attention to the places that I paint. So I'm gonna start on this guy because it's the most obvious. So with this white brush on this black mask, you're gonna see as I paint, you're gonna see the whatever we applied as the high pass filter, that's gonna show through. Cause now we're saying whatever's white on this mask, we're saying that's the part of the image we want to apply the high pass filter to. Not all of it, just wherever we paint. So if I paint here, you can see that that sharpens this guy up, you know, sharpens him up. So everywhere we paint, we are gonna sharpen up with the high pass filter. Now you can see all these blotches in here. If I were to crank this down, so if I went down to let's say 28% and I painted over here, I'm just gonna randomly paint here. You're gonna see that that's kind of gray. It's not white because I've lowered it. I'm not fully painting with white through, just kind of halfway or part way which means that I'm not revealing 
all the sharpness, just some of it at a time. If I keep painting over that area, so I paint over it again and then paint over it again, you're gonna see it slowly start to turn more and more white. So now all I'm gonna do is paint over everything in my image that I want to be affected by high pass, the stuff that I want to be most affected, so probably this Pac-Man stuff back here, I'm gonna make sure that I'm using a very high opacity and high flow, which means it's gonna be white and most affected, and then things that I don't wanna be affected as much, then I just drop these down. So things that I don't need to be as sharp, then I use a lower opacity and lower flow. Like let's just say maybe this guy's face right here. Okay, so once you're done painting everything in to the degree that you want, so if you look at my mask, most of it was pretty much white, and then I just did a little bit of light, light, light gray on some of these guys in the foreground here to make them not quite as sharp as what I used back here. So I didn't really change it that much. The next thing you're gonna do is decide how much of that overall sharpness you want. And you can do it in two ways. One is if you don't want it to be that sharp, you can just go to opacity and kind of drop this down a bit. If you go all the way down, that's your original image all the way up is fully sharpened, so you can dial it back just a little bit if you want. The other way you can do that is go back to high pass here. So if you double click, since it's a smart filter, it'll open this back up and you can readjust this. So maybe you want it to be even more sharp. You can crank this up even more if you want, or you can crank it down to soften the effect. So I'm gonna go back to around what I had and just click okay. Now, you can also add more sharpening if you want as well. So one way to do that is to just duplicate your high pass or put on a new one. So to do that, you can just hold Alt, click on high pass, drag it up to kind of its own thing where this blue line shows up and let go. That's gonna create another layer. Now, you might not wanna keep that one at full strength, right? So you can double click back on one of them and you know dial it back. So this would be nothing. You can you know slide this up a little bit to you know, make that one, you know, a little bit less strong than the other one, but it might still impact what you're doing. So you can do it like that. Or you can add a different, you know, sharpening method as well. So you could maybe go up to filter, sharpen and try like unsharp mask and just play around in here. I'd say kind of the same thing since you're adding a second layer, you don't want to, you know, crank these things to have it, you know, too much. You want to kind of dial these back pretty low. So maybe something like that. You know, click OK. So if I click on that on unsharpened mask, this eyeball, you can see that's what it was before. And this is after that new unsharp mask that we put on there. All right, so at this point, we are ready to put the final touches on our image. What we're gonna do is click on our layer and then hold Control, click on our background layer, go Control J to make a copy of both of those, and then just Control E to merge them together. And then we're gonna right click and turn that into a smart object. Then we're gonna go up to filter and down to camera raw filter. In camera raw filter, you can obviously mess with a whole bunch of things over here, but I'm gonna focus on basic and detail, which is two spots that you can further sharpen your image or do things like reduce noise, okay? So in basic, all we're gonna do in here, you can mess with any of these other things if you want as well, but I'm just gonna go down to texture and I'm gonna crank this just up a little bit. If you go too much, you know, maybe I should zoom in to 100% so you can see this. So I'll go to the hand and move this over. So if I crank texture too much, you're gonna see kind of weird things happening in here. So I'm not gonna, and if you go the other way, it softens it back up. So I'm just gonna bump it up just a little bit, add a little bit of texture. Same thing with clarity. If you go too much, it adds a lot of contrast and stuff in there. So I'm just gonna bump that one a little bit, and then I'm gonna bump dehaze up a little bit. And that's all I'm gonna do in basic. So I'm gonna close that one down and I'm gonna open up detail. Now in detail, there's sharpening, noise reduction and color noise reduction. Let's just start down here at color noise reduction. I'm just gonna crank that one up. Uh, it's pretty safe to crank it up. It's just within noise, there's all these different color patterns usually. So you can crank that one up pretty safely just to get rid of all that extra um, nonsense in the noise, like color patterns that are distracting. Okay, and then I'm gonna go up to sharpening. And really here, again, I'm just gonna crank it all the way and you're gonna see that it really sharpens the noise. So all these little like speckle patterns in there, the noise gets sharpened a lot and you don't really want that. You want the details sharpened. So I'm just gonna come up a little bit and if you hold Alt and then slide this, you can get rid of color so you can maybe see what you're doing a little bit better. So maybe look in this guy's chest plate right there. 
So this was there, if I crank it up, it sharpens it a bit, but at the expense of all this noise, I don't think I like it. So I'm gonna go up just a little bit. And then again, I'm gonna hold Alt and go with Radius. So you can see that that's very similar to what we did with High Pass. So you don't wanna to go too high with this, it'll make it crazy. So I'm just gonna add maybe a, cause remember we're just refining our sharpness. So we don't wanna add a ton more. So I'm gonna bump this just a little bit right there. And then again, I'm gonna hold Alt so we can see this one. And if you see on detail, you can really see, like you can really see that the noise in there that's being sharpened. So I really wanna dial this back. You wanna keep your, your detail pretty low. Like I'm gonna go like 10, like max 20, 25 in there. And then masking is kind of an interesting one because you don't get to like select exactly where you want, but if I hold Alt again and slide this, you're gonna see that the black is not really gonna be affected by what we do here, and it's just gonna be what's in white. So if you crank this way up, that's kind of finding the detail that we did before, and then maybe you can sharpen that a little bit more if you want, and you're not gonna add in as much noise. So kind of play around with these till you get kind of a good you know, balance between them. I'm gonna go maybe to about there. And then noise reduction, pretty obvious. If you feel like you've added too much noise, then just slide this over. Don't go too far, cause then you'll soften it up. I would say just you know go a little bit over to get rid of some of that noise that we just added. And you can mess around with these. I'm gonna add a little bit of contrast and that's pretty much it. I'm gonna click okay. And there we go, that's our final image. Click the eyeball, that's what we had before Camera Raw Filter. And this right here, if I hold Alt, is our original image and that was our final thing. And that's it, that's a quick, good way to sharpen images in Photoshop. If you got something out of this video, make sure to drop a like. And if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing and I'll catch you next time.